Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. Let's show you the pretty view from our hotel. Look at that. And we just realized that we are right next to the Maori village, which is, I think the entrance is right there. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw a sign right there for the Maori village right there. But I thought it was just like an advertise, a random advertisement. So right now... We have lots of, lots of fun activities today, I think. Right now we are going to go get breakfast, get some food in our tummies. And then we shall figure out what we're going to do. Definitely probably Maori village. And yeah, that's... That's a a gondola, maybe luging. A few other activities that we want to do here at Rotorua. So let's see if we can get another night here. Bye bye room view. One last view of it at 10 a.m. It ain't no lie, baby. Bye bye bye. So we decided not to stay here for the next night because we would get that get downgraded to a different room. We decided might as well try something new. We found a hotel that'd be more interesting. New Zealand. -y. Like it reminded of him of his Nana's house, so. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye to this room. Yes, our fans are torn. <laughs> it's like they're, they're putting off watching Walking Dead for this. Show. I'm sorry this happened to you. But we gotta get going because we're late checking out. So bye bye room. Bye bye entrance. Bye bye bathroom. Yes. Yeah. Bye bye 417. Hey, we were just up there a minute ago. What? That doesn't make any sense. We time warped from the hotel to over here. Now we can wave at ourselves. Bye. Bye us. Us from the past. To us from the future. We didn't even know it before. Anyways, we are at the Maori village. Well, that for some reason I thought it looked like a movie theater from over there. Because it says admissions. Yeah, probably because it says admissions. And we got our sunscreen ready. Yep. We didn't get our daughter's screen ready though. Ha 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 ha. We are not getting a pet kiwi. Hopped on and joined the tour that just was barely starting. So let's check out the Maori village. Well, now we're gonna get to show you all the geysers we were looking, seeing the steam of from our hotel room. You see that little white house in the background? That was our tour guide's grandmother's house, and she was forced to move because a geothermal vent popped out from her kitchen floor. Right here, our tour guide is explaining about how her people, her ancestors, used to live in little huts like this and the women and children would sleep on the inside and the men would sleep on the outside in case of an invasion. <laughs> it's a shame you live in a house and you have to move because a geothermal vent <laughs> pops. That's not the top reason you hear about people having to move. Just got up, something's wrong. I waited up with wounds on my feet. Where will you Flickering through memories, the Polaroids yellowed in the sun, longing to be seen. So come and hide, hide with me, hide with me, hide with me. Come and hide, hide with me, hide with me, hide with me. 
Oh wow. That'll get you a nice toasty bath. Might be a little bit too warm for me. <laughs> Not saying how warm it is. Yes. That's wonderful. So they use the thermal pools to cook. Yep. That's crazy. Like she said a hard boil that was like a couple Seven. minutes. Yeah. Well, soft boiled was like three, two or three minutes, and then the and hard, then hard boiled was like seven. six or seven. <coughs> this is our new, uh, second our natural cooking method. How the kids of the village like to call this a Maori microwave. <laughs> the village is looks out for the cafe staff, they call this a steam box. What it is, it's basically a smaller GFM or vent that has popped up to the earth's crust. My family members have just boxed it up with timber and placed a lid on top. With the mm. lid on top, it can range from 100 to 120 degrees Celsius. When packed properly, these size boxes can feed up to 150 degrees. So these are really good for our tribal gatherings and our glorious. I guess I'll pop the lid open just so we can all take a look at it. Place your hand on the ground, feel the heat beneath your feet. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh wow. 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 <laughs> kilometers under our feet is what's a rock in magma. This village does hmm. sit on three different hot ones. Our Rotorua itself wow. is a caldera. Now, my guess scientists have said many times that Rotorua is well overdue for the eruption. But indications of they were to occur here in our village, our geysers won't be erupting, you won't see the pools bubbling, and you won't see the steam rising as well. But have you seen me sprinting out of this village? <laughs> <laughs> right there. Excuse you, geyser. <laughs> <laughs>